More than 700,000 travelers are likely to be affected by the possible decision to increase taxi fares across the country. On February 15, 2021, Minister of Works and Transport Rohan Sinanan estimated that 728,000 or 56% of the population use public transport. This increase will come at a time when a significant portion of the population is on reduced hours, reduced days of work and others unemployed. On Monday, President of the TNT Taxi Drivers Network said a fare hike is imminent. We have never readjusted our fare in this whole COVID-19 pandemic from last year, March to now, right? But it has reached a position now where we are now um, discussing it. Mr. Acosta outlined the case for a fare increase. We have a high maintenance vehicle to keep because oil has gone up. Every single thing else in this pandemic is rising, right? And nothing is, and even in the grocery, as you know, right? And yeah. the, 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 price, the price that we have been charging people, we have tried to hold on to that as long as we can. Meanwhile, president of the Route 2 Maxi Taxi Association, Linus Phillip, said his membership is also contemplating an increase. You look at Maxi Taxi drivers who have to wait five and a half, five hours to get one trip. They're going from making like four to five trips a day down to one, one and a half, right? And in making that one and a half trip, they're down to 50%. Mr. Phillips said during the pandemic, most maxi taxi drivers have lost between 60 to 65 percent income with the reduction in passenger capacity from 100 to 50 percent. Mr. Acosta and Mr. Phillips were guests on TTT's Now Morning Show on Monday. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.